What is going on you guys? Riley on Jemmy Inflatable Fans 98 and I got an awesome video for you guys today. This is my completed 2021 Halloween display. Um, I'm actually going to be doing something I don't think I've ever done on the channel before besides maybe one display video, um, but I don't remember. But I'm going to try to do like a night and day version of this. Um, I wanted to do this just so you guys can get a, you know, see everything a little easier uh, during the day. Um, not that it's hard to see anything in general when I have the flash on, but um, obviously I wanted to do the night video anyway because of all the lighting effects and stuff that I usually do on the house. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into it. So starting off here, um, <clears throat> I've definitely gotten better. I've actually looked back at my old displays year after year in this house, um, and I've actually definitely gotten a lot better at you know, compacting things into an area. Um, now I'm not, I don't, ex I didn't really do a count of how many I had in, you know, this area last year. Uh, but it was definitely, I feel like it was definitely less at least. Um, but anyway, guys, so we've got the angry pumpkin here. We've got the boo scene, the 12 foot clown, 12 foot female ghost. We've got the short circuit ghost trio. Classic Skeleton, Classic 7 foot or 8 foot Reaper, Realistic Reaper, um, the Animated Hellhound, although obviously not animated, um, you can tell. Uh, I bought it knowing it wasn't animated, but it's still a bummer. Uh, then we've got the Shaking Monster, the Head Turning Cat, the 8 foot Spider, which is my oldest originally owned inflatable in the display there is one older and i will show you guys that in a little bit but i originally owned this and it has been used every single year since 2002 so i'm amazed at how great he still works then we've got this 12 foot clown i never did a review on uh, maybe after the season i'll do it but i bought this cheap on home depot's website last year and then we've got the 12 foot floating ghost and then on to the graveyard, guys. Um, I bought a few more tombstones this year, so it's a little bit bigger than last year's, I would think. Um, although I did lose a few tombstones last year in the display due to the wind. Um, so um, there may or may not be more this year in here. But of course, I did utilize the bushes. The bushes are in the way of a lot of things, but I did put these eyeball lights in here that I've had for years and I just haven't had a place to use them yet. Um, but unfortunately, these bushes here are covering most of the graveyard. So it's kind of hard to see from the road, unfortunately, or at least see what's in the graveyard, like the characters and stuff that I have in here, all the ground breakers. Um, but obviously you guys will get a better look with the lighting effects when I do the video at night. Then we've got Ghostface, Pennywise, and the Slimer. And then of course we've got the pumpkin, I don't know what you'd call that. Um, and then we'll move on to the porch. So we've got the organ, like we've always had it, or like I've always had it. Um, some pumpkins there. Dr. Shiver's Ogre. We got the witch, life-size witch with the cauldron, some animals down there. Four foot cat, also originally owned. Um, insane serial killer. I didn't plug him in. I don't really know if he works anymore. Um, and then we've got some pumpkins here. Some pumpkins and here's Mean Old Rams. I do have him turned on this year. He's very loud. Um, not very loud when you're right up next to him, uh, but from the road you can hear him pretty well. And then we just wanted to just show you guys how it goes the evil coming out. And then we've got the werewolf, life side werewolf. Um, short circuit signs. Enter if you dare and the skull. And then we will move on to the next section, guys. So first off over here, we've got the Trick or Treat Sam. And then we've got something over here. I bought this last year at Home Depot for like five, like two to five dollars. Um, and I came up with the idea that I just, you know, cut up some PVC pipe and, you know, have a styrofoam head and just put a mask on it. 
Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I wanted to use it this year, so I figured I'd do that with it. And then I have a strand of green lights in it too. So you'll see that at night. Then we've got kind of my NBC Nightmare Before Christmas section here. Um, 16 foot Reaper, Jack, Sally, and Zero Scene. My seven foot Rat. We've got the Mayor back here. Jack and Oogie, Dr. Finkelstein. Not sure why his arm's shaking there. Um, and then we've got the black ogre back there. He's kind of leaning over. It's a little windy over this area. Um, then we've got Freddy and the gremlin. So I will pause the video and show you guys the next section. Alrighty guys, so here is the next section. Um, was able to fit a lot of them in this area this year. Very happy about that. And I did utilize another section to put some of the bigger ones I did have here the last few years um, so that I made more room to put more of like, you know, the smaller ones, I guess. Um, so we got the light sink pumpkin, spinning eyes skull, classic 2002 Frankenstein. We've got the classic tree here, one of my favorites. We've got the, the mystic hand, the M&M animated Eminem, the Hitchhiking Ghosts, Vulture, Classic Bat, Classic Gargoyle, 2001 Ghost, 20 years old this year, guys. I'm not sure how it got dirty, honestly. I only used this one year at my rental house as we were building the house I'm currently in, and maybe he got dirty from that, but I'm just not sure how it got dirty because that was the only time I ever used it. And it wasn't like it was in the grass or yard or anything. So not too sure. But then we've got the animated symbol monkey. And one last section to show you guys. I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so here is the last section of stuff. Um, now, if you guys have been following me and my displays for the past couple of years, you will know that some of these are in that area I showed you in the last part. Um, but I utilized this section of the yard, which I never have used before, um, to kind of put some of the bigger ones in so that I had more room on that other section to, you know, fit more into. So, um, Stay Puffed also is usually right over there on the deck, but this year I decided to put them here. I'm not too sure why I didn't think of that before, um, but we've got, anyway, we've got the Mickey Pumpkin here. We've got the Metallic Dragon the fortune teller beetlejuice sandworm and then of course one of my all-time favorites the colossal 13 foot stay puff um again guys there will be a nighttime part to this i'm not too sure how much i'm going to talk or if at all in the nighttime portion of the video but stay tuned for that guys Alrighty, guys and we are back at night um obviously <laughs> The same setup here um, with the exception of I have a spotlight on this crew of inflatables mainly because the stay puffed the lights kind of fell out of him I believe like the light string kind of fell off from the top of his head or wherever it was placed unfortunately so either way I think a spotlight would you know does well for all of them anyway um, just so you can kind of see them all better it turns out great um, and actually, I will show you guys a video or a, a clip of, you know, how they look from the road or far from this area. Alrighty, guys, this is kind of how they look from the road. Um, you know, video doesn't do us justice. It looks a lot closer than the video shows, actually, which is funny. Um, but that's how they look from the road and it, they, it turned out great. You can see them all great from the road. I was honestly a little nervous you wouldn't be able to, but once I saw them from the street and stuff, it looks great at night. Alrighty guys, and on to the main portion of the display. You guys kind of already got the gist of everything in the uh, daytime video. Of course, I just wanted to show you guys this, how it looks at night with all the lighting effects. Obviously, I still have the lightning projector on the house, as well as the ghost girl projector in the window, as I usually always put, um, as well as an eyeball projector, if you can see that. It's hard to see in the video. Um, that looks pretty good at night. Um, cool effect on the house. Really can't see it in the video, of course. Now you can. <laughs> 
but here let me just do like a little unfortunately the red bulb burnt out in that ghost head and i didn't realize until i put it out this year and i don't have a replacement red bulb so i might have to find one somewhere but let me just do a little walk by of here Alrighty guys, and on to the graveyard. Again, you guys can kind of see when it's all lit up and stuff, this bush is blocking a lot in the graveyard, unfortunately. But I still put everything in the graveyard, as you can see, with um, this color changing light thing that was meant for Christmas, but it looks very cool at night in the Halloween display in the graveyard. And then now onto the porch, but I did want to show you guys this thing. Um, I mentioned it in the previous part of the video. Um, I had a green, some green lights in it. The video makes it look different than it really does, um, but you get the gist of it. I think it looks pretty cool, all, um, lit up at night. Of course, from the road, you can't really see the head or the mask, but it is what it is. I still think it looks cool. turn off mean old gramps from the previous part of the video because he was just getting too loud and annoying so i turned him off <laughs> all righty guys and then the last small little part of the display in the immediate yard here um you can see i got this laser projector from walmart a few years ago and this is the first year i'm using it and i'm glad i did looks very cool on the house of course with a lightning effect it actually shows up very well on the video which i'm surprised about um, but anyway guys, of course you guys saw all this earlier in the video. Alrighty guys, and the last part of the video last section of the yard the most unlit part of the yard um of course we start off with the light sig pumpkin that you weren't able to see in the beginning of the video of course this is out in my display every year so if you guys have been following me for a while you'll know i've had this for many years and you probably already know what this inflatable is but i always like to wait for him to start up his song before i start recording so yep Alrighty guys, so that concludes the video of my 2021 Halloween display. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed the video and enjoyed the display as much as I enjoyed setting it up and uh, you know getting being able to really look at it every day. I love you know you know turning this on every day and seeing my hard work um, put to use um, and all my you know all the hundreds of dollars i've spent on this stuff um get put to good use um so yeah guys i hope you enjoy this as much as i do riley on jemmy inflatable fans 98 like and subscribe